I was in the first year of the National Theatre School, of course, where we had English and French together. We were so proud of each other. I think I can safely say that, even from the French side. We would walk down St. Catherine Street hand in hand, arm in arm. We thought we were going to change the world. We would sit in classes together, English, French, English, French, for the French who couldn't, whose, whose English was not as, as fluent as it might be, and certainly for the English whose French was not as fluent as it might be. So, and we would hold hands so that we didn't miss anything of whichever um, teacher was teaching us, whether it was an English teacher or a French teacher, in the classes that we had together, which were uh, voice, which were improvisation, which were anything that didn't literally involve the speaking of text. The first year of the National Theatre School was on St. Catharines in a building in St. Catherine Street? It was on Mountain Street. On Mountain Street. Yes, what kind in, of house was it or a it building? It was in the old, old Legion building on Mountain Street down near what is now Rene Levesque. And, and it was office space or sparse space? It, or? it was on the third floor of the Legion building. We had the whole floor. We had a huge rehearsal hall room called Room 21. And then we had other smaller classrooms. And we had, a, we had a gymnasium all up there. I'm probably not remembering this right, but I remember the gymnasium. Um, we and had the a, teachers were Powis Thomas? Powis Thomas, Guy Hoffman, Jean Gascon, um, Bernard uh, Diamant, who was a voice teacher, um, Eleanor Stewart, who taught text, of course, and speech, uh, Suzanne Rivet, who was a movement teacher. Um, oh, I can't remember them all. And did Michel Saint-Denis ever come? Yes, Michel came, and his wife, Surya. They both came and taught us. Surya taught more than Michel, but Michel certainly came. And Michel so taught text or mask or no, movement? No, he or? would teach improv, and, uh, and Surya taught some kind. I don't really know what they called it, but they, Surya taught this class in which we came up with um, improvisations on characters in plays that we were doing. Wow. Chekhov plays or whatever. Um, anyway, that, but, but this was French and English, and we thought what we were doing was creating a different kind of Canadian culture, a Canadian culture that amalgamated both points of view, not destroyed either one but amalgamated them because we got so much from the French and the French got so much from us. And they said quite, quite frankly that they did. They got from us a sense of, of being, of groundedness, of organization, of uh, discipline, of uh, a, our own particular kind of passion, which was not theirs, but they seemed to respect and acknowledge. And we got from them, of course, their their huge passion, their, their ability to fly at something instead of pre-plan it. Um, each of these things, it seems to me, had an opposite side of the coin, and each side of the coin had value. Um, each side, of course, has its weaknesses, but we tried to take strengths from each other and instead of our weaknesses, and we were vital. We were a uh, a really damned interesting bunch of kids. <laughs> and how did that survive th during the three years together? Um, it survived very well during the three years together, although I was only in the school for two, and then I came to, to right. Stratford. But bit by bit by bit, of course, even in those first two years that I was there, um, there began to be uh, political rumblings about separatism and so on and so right, forth. Right, and right. so that, that gradually began to dissolve, and then when the theater school moved from Mountain Street to uh, Saint-Laurent, Saint um, the move, in a way, I think, although I wasn't there, kind of marked a division right, right. between English and French. And who else was in the class, first year? First year, um, uh, Paul Hecht, Gary Leroy, Donnelly Rhodes, um, Suzanne Grossman, um, Ancha Holtz, uh, I'm going to leave somebody out, and this is going to be devastating. Um, Madeline Cronby, um, uh, Coralie Pugh, um, oh shoot, Heath Lamberts, um, oh, uh, Lionel Simmons, um, Neil Daynard. Um, um, I'm going to leave. Oh, I, 
That's pretty oh, good. That's, that's terrible. That's Ed good. Rudney, who put his foot through the wall in the rehearsal hall, and Paulus suggested that he needed a day off. <laughs> <laughs> and he just, just didn't come in one day because he said, well, everybody else has had a day off and I haven't had a day off, so I took a day off. And Paulus said, right, Poyle. 